this is incredible right here, girl. Like, like, can you? Hey, what? Man, always happens the same thing. Hello everybody and welcome to Fruitcani FX where I'm gonna show you today a second way of creating the Kung Fury look and it's actually this one that uh, you can see over here this one that looks a little bit like VHS but it's uh, in a different way of one of my first tutorials so I'm gonna show you today how to create this same effect okay so for making this um, you're gonna need a really nice, nice computer for rendering and all the stuff because you know it's gonna take a lot of pre compositions and a lot of adjustment layers and that stuff. And actually, um, it's a little bit hard, okay? It's hard this tutorial, so you have to pay close attention to everything that I'm gonna do in case you want to do it exactly because. You know, if you use any kind of plugin from Red Giant or whatever, it will be so much easier. But you know, this channel is 100% against plugins, um, things like that. So, okay, let's go for it. So, um, this is our junk hacker man from my Confury fan made film. That, in case you haven't seen it, I kindly invite you again to check it out in my first channel called The Freakania. I'm pretty sure that you're really gonna like it. So we can start by um, making uh, the VHS look that this has, you know, like with this kind of contrast, like losing the blacks and so. Um, we're gonna do it by creating a new adjustment layer, coming here, and getting the contrast effect. And we're gonna put a high contrast, like 25, we want to duplicate that and now put it minus 25. Um, this way we have lost, you see, over here in the shades we have lost everything that we have there because this is something really typical from uh, VHS films and it's also the way this is done. So okay, um, we are going to precompose this that we just did. I'm going to call this facts. And now we want to create this uh, kind of color distortion that we can see over here and also here, the lines. Um, from creating this, we want to duplicate this layer and we want to set it to color so that we can now have uh, this. You see, we can control where we want our color to be displaced. And we want to add a fast blur we drop it on top of the color layer and um, we want to set it to maybe 10 but only set it to horizontal okay and make sure that you mark this the yeah, repeat pixels and um, we want to displace this okay if this is on 960 maybe we would want to put it at a uh, 9 uh, I mean sorry 975 so that we can have this nice color displacement and we want now to pre-compose this again I'm gonna call it maybe color offset um, we want to duplicate now this four times so one two three four we should have five different um, pre-compositions pre so we want now to do this um, RGB split, okay? Um, for doing this, we'll have to come here and add the change channels effect. And we want to have two red channels, two blue channels, and one green channel. So we set the first one, set it to add. The second one, red set it to add again third one what in blue set it to add fourth one again another one blue set it to add again and the last one we want it only green oops off off that's it oops 
no sorry I did it wrong here uh, green okay so you should end up with this kind of purple image um, now we want to take the um, opacity of all of them and when I said the first one we want to set it to 30 second the second one to 70 the third one to 10 and the last one to 90 so you should end up with our image as it was at first okay so what have we done with this now we have done a um, different uh, uh, we, ha we have split our RGB channels but we have done it in a way that we can achieve this same look okay because it has a little bit of blue over here and a little bit of red over here but it has different opacities and so on you know I've done this in a way that I can achieve the same look as close as possible so this is how I learned it to do so when I take the first red one and when I apply a flat fast blur oops fast blur when I set it to 20 and only horizontal uh, repeat pixels and uh, the position we could put it at um, maybe 970 so when I leave this one like that the third one blue the first blue we want to again get another fast blur drop it here um, 20 maybe only horizontal repeat pixels um, we want to set the position of this one to um, maybe 950 we'll leave it like that um, that's all okay so we can now come here and pre-compose the wall thing call it RGB split and uh, now we want to come here um, this was called color offset okay so we wanna take the, the that composition color offset we wanna drop it down and the RGB split pre-composition that we made should be on top because we wanna set it to color mode so that as you can see the normal mode it will lose a little bit the edges and so on we don't want that so we set it to color to keep the edges um, and that stuff you know so that it looks better okay so we can pre-compose this again um, we can color this I don't know recolor <laughs> for example um, as you can see in here it has a little bit of bad quality so we want to make a little bit of of that we want to lose a little bit of quality and for making that we have to to scale down our image so we want to come here to composition the adjustment adjustment coding adjustment of the composition i hate that word seriously i do i want to set it maybe to um 60 yeah so something like that will be okay and we want to scale down the whole thing until it fixes more or less we pre-compose this and make sure that you don't you don't take the first choice but you take the second one so that this composition also scales um, you wanna call it um, resize and now you wanna take this composition and set it as it was at first in case you're you're working with um, 7, 720 you can put it you can resize it to I don't know maybe 400 300 that depends on how bad you want your image to look um, okay we can now scale this up a little bit okay so we have seen that we have lost a lot of quality so that looks cool now we want to create a new adjustment layer and we want to take this focus mask effect and we want to set uh, the level to 70 and the radio to 10 so that's it this is more or less how 
the image should look with you know this red line over here um the blue one over here it looks more or less like this you know with this uh and color part over here like bluish and the red at the other part and um, that's it and you know in case you would like to add maybe some stock footage on top like random lines or a little bit of glitch in the image that's up to you so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um in case you want to know how to create any other effect just let me know in the comments below and i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial so see you next time see ya